We have three Easter eggs at three different price points. Right. Um, we're going to have Kato rate these. We have taste and texture. Yeah. We have presentation. Mm -hmm. We have experience. Yeah. And we have price. We're going to start things off with our first egg. This looks so much more... Why do they leave the wrapper on? Look. They've got to tease you in. But this looks so much more expensive. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm gonna complain immediately because it doesn't have like little like handles or something to like okay. pull the eggs okay. out. Because you have to, you just kind of have to like grab it or dump it. So I'm just, I'm just gonna try and like lift this out. Interesting, interesting. No, yeah, straw did come off. I think you should cut this in half. Are we gonna so this eat is half? The, the praline be... scotch egg. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I'm starting to understand. Yeah, I'm going to cut this in half. Okay. Let's... <gasps> oh, my God. The dark gosh. bit, solid chocolate. I'm going to try and give this a bite. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and, like... I'm going to have a nibble know. of the cream that's on the knife. Holy. <laughs> Whoa. That has flavor. It fell out. Points lost for experience. <laughs> That's a lot of flavor, man. That is a lot of flavor. That's the blast, the blast to the face. Yeah. What do you think of it? It's the presentation is is absolutely five out of five. It's five out of five. Okay, I'm interested to see. <laughs> <laughs> There's more sh coming, so I'm interested. <laughs> They've done a really good job with making like a really nice looking box. True. Like something that I want to pick up. Yeah. And open and see what's inside. Okay. What are we saying on taste? Give us your taste rating. Taste. Taste rating. There is a lot of things going on. You have like the, the chocolate that's yeah. like surrounding the center. You have the like hazelnut bits that are just crumpled around the outside. Yeah. You have the little like creamy center, right? All of those like very different flavors. I'm gonna give this a three. Oh, a three for taste. A three for taste. Oh, damn. Okay. It's it's okay. okay. It's not bad. I'd eat this again. I eat more of this, I should say, because Fair. there is still egg left. It's a, it's a three for me, dog. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that dog made me physically cringe. <laughs> Good. Good. Well, the what, uh, what are you saying about right. experience then? So experience, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that's a four. Okay. For for experience, where it did like loses points for me? Yeah. Is the fact that it was a lot of chocolate that was like unevenly spread? Yeah. So it was very hard to gauge like how much you needed to cut to get through. So texture, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Again, there's like these three layers that yeah. you're like getting through to try and like eat this egg. I'm also gonna say it's a four. Okay. It's a four. The reason it's a four is that because the hazelnut around the outside, yeah, actually really nice. Okay, I really like that. The creamy center, kind of nice. Okay, like they've done a good job with like the consistency. Yeah, it's not like too fluid. Yeah, it's not like a cream egg. Yeah, like a Cadbury's cream egg where it would run out. So the price of this egg was nineteen pounds ninety nine pence. See, I think the price is what's pulling it down the most. I mean, that's, that's important. That's right. important. The price is what's pulling it down the most because I feel like it could have gotten this experience yeah. for way cheaper. Yeah, and did the price taint the experience? <laughs> <laughs> Value for money? Actually, just a two. Interesting. I think that's, that's very expensive for like what I got. Very fair. So what's your, what's your overall rating out of five then? For the Fort Nam and Mason Praline Scotch Egg mm -hmm. is a four. That's pretty, out of five, that's still pretty good. Oh my God, it is happening. It is happening. Moody is coming. Oh my God. This is our second egg for today. You want to give everyone a look at this one? I can tell you already that I rated the other one too highly. <laughs> I thought this immediately when you were like four out of five. I was oh like, you are not ready for what's next. Yeah, that's a three at most. Yep. Oh, this smells. You can smell this one. Oh, got him. There we go. Oh my God. Guys, look at this. 
wrapping so you wouldn't get your fingers dirty. Oh. <gasps> Look at it. That is, it is shiny. Yeah, it is very like polished. It's like a polished egg. It's kind of textured as well. Like you can see those like little um, like, like little, shapes on it. It's actually textured like little that. like diamonds. Yeah, 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 it's fully textured. That's not just like imagery. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh. oh, it's making a crackling noise, it guys. It's making a crack. There's a dinosaur coming out. I'm going to try and just poke some holes before yeah. I start. Yeah. Like cutting. Loosen it up. <gasps> oh, it's breaking. I think that's it. This is exciting. This is very exciting. I immediately regret giving high scores for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like you got a seam on that. <gasps> oh my God. Oh. That is beautiful. That's cool. Looks like a big fancy Kinder egg. Yeah, it, it kind of does, is. right? Yeah, the outside is like white chocolate, it seems like, and then yeah. there's like brown chocolate Dude, on the inside. Thick. It is very Look at thick. The thickness of that thing. It is still thinner than the other one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them in there. They're like proper it's got bottles. Like fossils and dinosaurs and white this chocolate is cool. and dark chocolate. Like, oh my god. Okay. I think first things That's first so on this fancy. one, you need to try the actual egg itself. I need to try the egg before the dinosaurs. Yeah, before the dinos. It stayed relatively intact and you can like break pieces off. I will say that the actual seam is very thick. Yeah. But the chocolate and most of this is actually kind of thin. Interesting. I'm going to taste this a little bit, guys. Have a little nibble. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Very nice. That's good chocolate. That's <laughs> really good chocolate. Oh my God. Mm. They are so nice. That's that interesting kind of chocolate as well. Well, you know you get a lot of chocolates that are very like smooth and yeah. very like milky. This one you're like tasting the cocoa nibs in that. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, you can really get that. Yeah, it almost tastes like marble chocolate. Yeah, no, know? I mean it is. I mean yes, yeah, but, but it's, it's got that like um that tang that you get in certain chocolates that are a bit like higher quality that aren't as milky. It's like slightly acidic, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look what at have this. we got there? You got stegosaurus it's, there. It's a. Uh, it's, uh, it's that's not a stegosaurus. Is it not a stegosaurus? That's not. Yeah. What the it's... hell is that? What is that? That's not a stegosaurus. Uh, Minus points for experience. <laughs> <laughs> experience ruined. Not accurate dinosaurs. I'm gonna eat a piece of this. He's bitten its ass off. Me have a go. Always mm. That's mm. right. It's just very nice white chocolate. Like there's nothing like special to it. There's nothing else in it. It's just yeah, white chocolate. Yeah, it's good, just good quality. But it's just good quality chocolate. Mm. It, again, it has that slightly acidic like hang to it yeah you get in certain chocolates and that's what and it's interesting because it's in the white chocolate it's not a bad thing yeah it's not overly sweet a lot of white chocolates are very overly sweet it's not that are these stuck in yes okay so the little dinos are stuck into the chocolate okay that makes up the egg so you have right. to like break them out a little bit okay which i think is kind of cool yeah because you have like the feeling of like breaking the fossils out of the stone Oh, I kind of like right. that, actually. I like that that's kind of good. That's, yeah. that's bonus points for experience. That was bonus points for experience. Presentation-wise, this is this might shock some people. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm only giving this a four. He's only giving it a four! Only a four for presentation. The box isn't as nice. Right. And it doesn't come nestled in like a nice space. That is true. It's just kind of in there. I right. think this one has a very interesting taste. I think this one does have a very interesting taste. The fact that when you bite into it, you can actually taste the chocolate. Yeah. And it's not just like this like amorphous dairy mass. Yeah. That just has a slight like chocolatey flavor. Yeah. Um, I think that makes it a five. Oh, okay. I five really, out of five for taste. I really like this chocolate. I like the, even the basic white chocolate is just <clears throat> really good. Yeah. Right, so the experience. Yeah. I'm gonna make this an easy one. Yeah. Because it's a five. Like this Perfect. is this is not That was a cool experience. That was a cool experience. Texture. This is a four for texture. Yeah. yeah. And the reason is that it's just kinda chocolate. Well, I agree with you, but what I think is interesting about this chocolate is it's a much harder, snappier chocolate. 
It is. I agree with that, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's very nice. It's very yeah. nice chocolate. And it's less smooth because it doesn't... It's not as milky. Yeah, but it's still... It's still very just chocolate. -y. Yeah, no, that's true. You know? That like, is true. There's, there's no, like, uh, hazelnut crisps in it. Yeah. There's no, like... There's nothing else. It's just chocolate. That's true. It's very nice, crispy chocolate. You know? Yeah. Like, really, really nice. Yeah. But it is just chocolate. Fair. This Easter egg is thirty-two pounds. Uh, see, as a as a German, I think <laughs> that sounds insane to me. Thirty-two pounds <laughs> for any amount of food for what we got. Yeah, I think it's a four. Same as same as the Scotch egg. Same as the no, because the Scotch egg I rated <laughs> way too high. Way what, too what's high. your revision on the Scotch egg? What's My revision that? on the Scotch egg is that it's probably like a two for like most things. <laughs> Like this, compared to this, not even like this. It doesn't even come close <laughs> to this. Overall rating, by the way, because it's dinosaurs and I love dinosaurs, this is a five. All right, are you ready for the final egg of the tonight? Final egg. <laughs> I'm excited. Ooh, that's very fancy. Very fancy. I think we found the expensive. <laughs> okay, don't tell me the answer, but before we get into this, considering the Scotch egg was about 20 mm -hmm. and the Dino egg was about 32, mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess that this is in like around the 50 pound tier. We're you don't wanna know. <laughs> we're gonna see if that's correct. Go for it. Okay. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Oh. 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 Okay, so this, I can't hold this, I don't want to hold this too sideways, but this is a magnetic seal. That's very nice. It just comes right off. Mm. <laughs> this point's for that falling over. <laughs> this looks so, look at this. You can like see inside. This is so nice. Oh my god. Ooh, okay. You got hold of it? I got the egg. The egg is secure. Ooh, <laughs> stuff is moving. Ooh. Oh no. Stuff has fallen out. Minus points for experience. <laughs> no. You try and get like a good, a good like shot. Look at this. It's got like all these different slices. Damn. Every single slice looks like it's a different flavor. Very interesting. And um, maybe there's duplicates. It's hard, to, it's hard to say. Yeah, I think maybe there's duplicates, but a lot of different flavors. A lot of different flavors. All right. Well, you gotta get to it. You gotta get tasting. Ooh, okay. Right, I'm gonna try this one, this like marbled looking thing. Wow. Okay. I'm having trouble placing this. Does it have a list? Uh, there is a list somewhere. It may be on the website. I'm going to pull the website up. The chocolate is absolutely S tier. Really? So nice. Like, I'm so full. I just took a second bite because I was like, that's so nice. Really? I'm going to try a piece you, of this guy. You try, you try a little bit. I get why you can't place that. It's got a slight fruity twist to it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that could be it. Yeah. The actual green chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Matcha and cherry. Holy hell, that is amazing. This is really good chocolate. So this is just like a basic brown one. Okay. What we think in this one that is... Maybe something hazelnutty. Mm. Oh, that's a lot softer than the other ones. Mm. Mm. That's the best one we've had so far. That's coconut. I can tell 100%. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's milk chocolate and coconut. Very that, nice. Th that is actually... So, I'm not... I don't even like coconut that much. I, I want to point out, by the way, that the stick in the middle is also chocolate. Oh, my God. Like, they've not cheaped out and went for, like, a like a wooden or, like, a plastic, like, center. This is ridiculous. That's also a chocolate bar. All right, so this is the light brown one. Ugh. I don't even like coconut that much, and that's good. Assuming this is like something caramelly. Mm. I want to say that's almonds. Oh god, 
It's so good though. Mmm. What's that one? That's got to be caramelized almond. Caramelized almond. Yeah. Oh, it's I was right be. on both accounts. Caramel and almond. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. got to be. Mm. Meat. That's so good. It's got that t- like toasted flavor to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean like roast nuts in the oven? It's got like this like roasty, toasty flavor. Right. Mate. <laughs> so this one also has bits in it. Mmm. Mm. That's a dark chocolate. That's just, I think that's just classic dark chocolate. It's got something in it. I can't tell yeah, what, but it's, it's not anything something. prominent. Uh, but that's so, so good. I think this is different than this one because it's got bits in it. Yeah, that looks different. So we'll try to show this to the camera as well. That might be a nut one. That's hazelnut. This is hazelnut? Right, apparently this is hazelnut, guys. We're going to try the hazelnut one. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. So good. So mm. good. Mmm. Every single one of these, freaking tasty. Like, not yeah. every single one of these is, like, to my taste specifically. But it's an but interesting flavor. Like, yeah, it's an interesting flavor. It's very good. Yeah. Like, it's not overpowering. It's not, like... Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Right, apparently right. there's one more slice now that we haven't tried. I'm thinking it might be this, or is that the same as the dark? No, that one's, that one's got bits in it. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, this one, guys, this one's got like fruit or something in it. It tastes a little bit like uh, Black Forest. Yeah. Potato. That's Fruits of the Forest. This egg has seven different flavors in the form of 14 wedges. This egg weighs one kilogram. Solid chocolate all the way through, as you can see. Jesus Christ. The flavors in this egg are... Dark and milk chocolate with hazelnuts, white chocolate and forest of the... Oh my god. White chocolate and fruits of the forest, coconut, pistachio, and raspberry, caramelized almond, which I actually think was the best one. Yes. And matcha and cherry. Presentation, I don't think this comes as a surprise, is an absolute five. Yeah. Like, the like little bow around the package, the like... Bleh. Yeah, maybe this one was the pistachio and raspberry. Oh, oh this maybe. one was the pistachio and raspberry. Yeah, 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 that's why it's got a slightly pink tint to it. So you, uh, sorry, you said this was a five out of five. five like for presentation. presentation wise, yeah. The little like bow around it, the yeah. like expensive looking box, the like magnet seal yeah. instead of like a pla- uh, instead of like a paper like yeah thing, right? Um, the fact that when you open it, it comes like wrapped in black yeah. with like layers to uncover with like the shape of an egg. Yeah. Like in the center, like very nice. Just very impressive. Very nice. Taste. And now this one's an interesting one because this one has seven flavors that we tasted here. Yes. But also, for one, there's always going to be something in there that you like. Yeah, that's like true. When you get this egg. <laughs> when if you get <laughs> when egg. you are getting this egg <laughs> yeah i don't think this comes as a surprise either this is also a solid bite yeah. for taste yeah there is even if you don't like every flavor there's so much interesting yeah. stuff here every single chocolate has something in it yeah it's not just plain dark chocolate plain milk it's always got something in it i want to give the experience a five yeah i'm like the thing that i didn't like about like the experience of like opening this yeah and, like eating this is that for one the slices weren't perfectly like sorted yeah and that made it kind of hard to like see like what you tried what and... you're trying yeah. yeah it was missing like a little like a list or something yeah like, that's on true the box. that's true we had to go on the website to get the list because right. that is very the true. actual experience of like opening this yeah i didn't have to cut anything yeah that was big nice. bonus big bonus didn't have to cut anything. Um, just folding it open. Yeah. I think if I had been on my own, I would have struggled a little. Yeah. So um, I'm actually for the first for the first time for this egg, gonna give it four. I think the texture of like the individual, um, you know, of the individual bits is actually kind of nice. Yeah. However, they do have a flat side and a textured side. Yeah. The actual texture of the chocolate itself, very nice. Yeah. Um, basically, every chocolate has bits in it. 
Yeah. So it's not just plain chocolate. Yeah. Like there's something else. Some there. variety. So I'm actually gonna go and say that's also that's also a five. Nice, nice. Good good texture on that. Feels like with how fancy it is, they could have had the names carved into the slices. I actually agree with that. Yeah. I think they should have had it on like this, where is it? On like this bit of the chocolate, right? Like on the outside. We're onto the price of this egg. What's the price of this? And am I gonna be upset? Yes. <laughs> so this egg was 70 pounds. That is more than twice the price of the dino egg. Uh, Hamel's saying what I'm just about to say. What I'm gonna remind everyone is that this is one kilogram of chocolate. How heavy is the dino egg? So the dino egg, for comparison, is 400 grams of chocolate. So I, I think this is like a tough one for me. Yeah. Because the actual chocolate itself yeah. is a very, very nice. Yes. I don't think the presentation adds as much to the chocolate um, like as just having the chocolate itself. Yeah. I don't think the like presentation is adding as much value as they think it does. I like all of these. Yeah. But if you don't, you've just bought like 200 grams of chocolate you can't eat. That's true. Right, so I'm, I'm gonna give this a three. <gasps> value for money. Interesting. Because I think I would have enjoyed a chocolate box yeah. for like 40 pounds with the specific selection of chocolate flavors I wanted to try. That's fair. A lot more than this. So overall rating for this one, I think this has also not come as like much of a surprise. Yeah. Is a four. Okay. Because it's very good. Yeah. Just also very expensive. Yeah. And I didn't like the presentation. Yeah. Um, very fumbly and like the experience as much yeah as like the dino egg so winning egg is the dinosaur egg is the dinosaur egg dino egg win 